There are some Scarlet Speedsters who are more evil than Hitler. Now that we've mentioned it, you should know that we have a version of the Flash that is inspired by this ruthless dictator. However, that's not the only evil Flash we have. That's why we've made a list of the 10 most evil versions of the Flash. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10. Bizarro Flash Bizarro's the strongest Superman! The bigger they are! We're going to be starting off this list with a version of the Flash that's not only evil, but also weird. And with a name like Bizarro, you pretty much guessed that's what this Scarlet Speedster is going to be like. But here's how the entire story started. Back in the day, there was a guy named Bizarro III who got infused with the radiation from the blue sun. And you might think this is big whoop, but this infusion gave him the ability to replicate himself. After realizing this, Bizarro III had an idea. He was to populate the cube-shaped planet with versions of himself. However, these versions would be based on people, superheroes, and supervillains. Some of the individuals he created were Batlin, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and Bizarro Flash, who were to fight Bizarro Doomsday. However, all of the Bizarro versions don't look like normal human beings. Take the Flash for example. He is abnormally obese. He has gray skin that seems to have cracked just like the earth on some desert. The biggest part of his body is his stomach and man boobs, while his extremities are completely misshapen. Now, even though they might look human, there's nothing human about them. Number 9. No Rules to Follow Flash This is another evil version of the Flash from the comics, but this one is more than 27 years old. The Flash in the comic book No Rules to Follow was featured in the fifth annual issue of the Justice League. But this wasn't like your typical world. Oh, no, no, no. This was a world where people absolutely hated people who had superpowers. At first, a group of 10 superheroes teamed up and tried to prove to the world that they should fear them. But this is not what happened. You see, the group fell apart after they failed trying to contain the nuclear meltdown. After this failure, the Flash decided that Nice will no longer cut it, so he turned evil and unleashed his power to hunt down and destroy those that sought to kill the metahumans. That's called taking the principal eye for an eye to a whole new level. If you want to see which Flash worked directly for the Pope himself, then keep on watching until pick number 6. Number 8. Slipstream Before we talk about Slipstream, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy, and you keep getting these videos for free. Slipstream first appeared in the 1992 version of the Justice League Quarterly. And here, he was in affiliation with a group of villains who were not much different from the crime syndicate. So he and six other members of his group were thought of as good, and they played along for the ride. After being invited to a charity and pretending to be good, Everything changed when Slipstream and his team started fighting the Justice League and were very easily defeated. So much for the orange speedster. Number 7. The Wizard Hey, here's a parody if we've ever seen one. And in fact, this is what Marvel was looking to do back in the golden age of comic books. You see, this is what Marvel came up with to parody the DC Justice League. So instead of a flash that was hit by lightning, now we have one whose blood was infused with that of a mongoose. He appeared in comics between 1941 and 1946, which is why many people don't know about him if they're not big fans of The Flash. Number 6. Surge We already teased you a little bit about Surge, so here he is. Have to be honest, being The Flash and being Italian is a little surprising. But we have to realize that Luca Loletti has been a member of one of the most elite groups in the world. You see, Luca was one of the five speedsters inside the Order of the Cross. That's a group of five super fast bodyguards who are tasked with protecting the Pope everywhere he goes. And you want to know the craziest part? Serge decided he had had enough of his bodyguard career, broke away from the Order of the Cross, killed the Pope, and then assassinated the Pope. And all of this was because he was corruptible and he wanted the money they were giving him. But immediately after this, Midnighter was on his tail, so Serge had to try and escape. Finally, Serge's death came in San Diego when Midnighter finally caught up with him. Number 5. Johnny Quick, both in Crime Society and Crime Syndicate Whichever you may look at it, we're still talking about the same speedster, and that's Johnny Quick. Again, just like the Wizard and Bizarro, this is a version of the Flash on Earth 3. 
Here, you have a band of superheroes that have turned evil, and they only use their powers for evil. You have Owlman as opposed to Batman. You have Power Ring instead of Green Lantern. You have Johnny Quick instead of The Flash. And when talking about the crime society, we have to mention that The Flash here is also evil. But now, the band of superhero villains, there's an oxymoron if we've ever heard one, and they're living in a planet where evil triumphs over good. For our number one pick, we have a speedster whose sole life purpose is to destroy Barry Allen. If you want to find out who, make sure you watch until the end. Number four, the Red Death. When you cross Batman and Flash, you get the Red Death. Some call him a venomous version of Batman, while others an evil twin of the Flash. But whatever the case, he is still part of the Dark Knights. That's the group of villains helping a deity by the name of Barbados. Their goal? To overthrow the superhero world of the DC multiverse and plunge it into darkness. And if you go back to the fifth season of The Flash, you will remember that the Red Death was in the Flash Museum and was being displayed alongside Zoom. Number 3. The Nazi Speedster Nazis? The name says pretty much everything here. It's a version of The Flash that's inspired by the Nazis. The origin story is fairly simple to understand as well. That's because in this version of Earth, the Nazis won the Second World War. And now, with the entire world at their fingertips, you have superheroes that are trying to spread the Nazi propaganda and administer the peace. With powers similar to that of the Flash, the Nazi Flash is evil and is working under a Nazi organization that enforces the dictatorial regime. Number 2. Savitar Who are you? Savitar, the God of Speed. No, we're not going to be talking about the comic book version of the Flash. We're going to be talking about Savitar from the actual show. He was not only evil in Barry Allen's time remnant, but he was also one of the fastest speedsters in the world. And even though that suit looked cool, it wasn't nearly as important as his speed. Basically, he was playing hide and seek with Barry Allen, even though Barry Allen is one of the fastest speedsters in existence. And yes, his only goal is to see the Flash suffer, just like he did in the past. Number 1. Reverse Flash Call him Ia Barthon, call him Reverse Flash. You can call him whatever you want. However, what you can't call him is good. This is a man that came back from the future after the Flash imprisoned him, and he made it his life's mission to make the Flash suffer. First of all, he killed Barry's mother, then he turned Barry Allen from a regular guy into the Scarlet Speedster, so he can finally return to his own timeline. But this plan backfired and he was left battling Barry Allen in the present, even though he looked up to him at one point in his life. On a related note, do you think that the Reverse Flash is more evil than Savitar? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.